What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Brandon back on Motor Nubs and today we don't have a car video yet but this is going to be leading us up towards doing more car videos because today we're doing a truck video. I'm putting the Airlift 1000 series airbags on uh, the Dodge pickup truck um, because if you didn't see one of my last videos I sold the F250. I was just getting up high miles. I didn't want to deal with it anymore so um, I have this, uh, uh, you know, Kayla had the Dodge, I took over the payments on it, it's super low miles, and um, I don't have to move my equipment a ton, but we will be using it to move cars around. In perfect situation, it just, on the uh, Dodge Ram, the newer ones, they have coil springs in the rear, so they're really, really well known for like sagging out super easy. Apparently these Airlift 1000 series springs are supposed to help that out, so um yeah let's uh let's get these bad boys put on these are really reasonable i'm gonna put a link down below in the description if you want to check them out if you have a ram uh, i also believe they make them for like jeeps other stuff that has cool springs and then you can get the traditional style that mounts like the axle and stuff but those are a lot more expensive other than these so it's worth a try if it helps out and makes us more stable while we're towing that's a win-win all right guys let's get started all right guys so we are under the truck now um the method that I looked up for actually collapsing these airbags was um, squeezing them down, get on with your knees, squeeze them down with your knees, and then put zip ties around them, and then shrink them up with the zip ties. Obviously, you have to have the valve off the top so the air can come out, and the last zip tie you put on is where the valve is. That way, when you shrink it down, you can put the valve on and then uh, tighten up those zip ties. But with this method, you can get it all the way tight, and then let me flip it around and show you. See, I got that one in there, and now once it's in there, I'm just going to cut those zip ties so it'll pop back up, and we'll be good to go. Um, this side, the driver's side's the easiest. The passenger side is a little bit harder because you have, like, this uh, this bracket right here in the way. So I'm going to try to get that in while you guys are watching. Always make sure you're putting the valve side in up. That's the valve side. And um, I think I'm going to go through right here. Okay, well these zip ties, one of them kind of popped off as it was going in. Not really a problem, because I got it in there, but that wouldn't have been fun. So, boom, it's in there. Um, I'm going to go get the lines and everything so I can attach the lines. And also there's a spacer that goes up top. Um, get all that on, and then I can cut these zip ties and run the lines and get it inflated. Ah. Alright, so if you look up in there... Um, I have the spacer on top of the bag and then the um, the airline runs through the spacer there's a fr there's a hole in the bracket for the spring up in the top I ran it up through that hole and then down through here right here and through here and uh, I'm gonna run it through the the frame and end up being somewhere like over in here is probably where I'm gonna, I'm gonna mount the the, the Schrader valve so now let's do the other side and get this thing pumped up. Well, and I gotta, I gotta pop those zip ties off. Yeah. Whew, I am about beat. The sun was creeping out on me. Rusty was over here just chilling in the garage with the fan blowing on him. But um, the bags are in and this is the first test ride. Um, I've put them up to a little over 20 PSI, not quite 25. Um, they recommend with towing, it said uh, bump them up to like 30 to 35 PSI. So I figured, you know, 20 would be decent for just riding around. Hold on, let me buckle up. Ugh. So, quit yelling at me. Alright. So, let's jump on the highway and see how it handles some bumps. I've been driving this truck now for a few months. And so I'm pretty familiar with how the the truck actually feels and handles um, This is a uh, four-door two-wheel drive Dodge 1500 uh, With a 4.7 v8 really nothing special um, 
it's got all stock suspension or had all stock suspension um, so when it would hit a bump it was a little bouncy because it's got coil springs all the way around I'm hoping this will tighten it up a little bit and also help lift the back of it up for when I tow because when I was towing before the back of it would would go down pretty easily which is seems to be a common problem with some of the new cool spring trucks that Dodge is coming out with and I don't know if anybody else is, is using cool spring on a like a full-size truck yet but um, I imagine it'll be coming because the rides nice just a little bumpier than normal um, okay and right actually right off the bat jumping on the highway I can definitely feel a lot more feedback from the rear end uh, I didn't I noticed some people online said they would back their bags all the way down to 5 psi for daily driving and I can um, I can definitely feel like the the rear axle going and over bumps like a, a lot it's it feels a lot more sensitive I guess probably wouldn't my, bother me for daily driving I'm really more concerned about how it's gonna tow probably won't be able to do that in this video I may do a follow-up video if you guys are interested um, but yeah, we're doing 75 right now. Seems to be smooth. I'm going to hit a uh, go through here, uh, hit an exit, and um, bang a U-turn and come back. But, um, yeah, this is definitely doable. Um, not, not bad at all. Some people in the comments section were complaining that it makes your truck feel like it's floating all over the road. Uh, I don't feel that at all, actually. It, it seems to be driving, like, straight as an arrow. So, yeah, I'm happy. Um, yeah, well, I'm going to finish this test drive. Uh, thank you guys for watching. This is Brandon on on uh, motor nubs and I will leave a link down below in the description for the airlift um, 1000 series bags that I have for my truck uh, make sure you buy the ones that are correct for your application but they were actually really reasonable I think like 90 bucks um, I'm using an external pump like one that I just plug into my cigarette outlet uh, and I just have the Schrader valve mounted at the back so yeah I, I don't I don't need all that fancy onboard pump stuff uh, but y'all have a good one. I'll see you next time. Adios.